In the end, all we are is our story. What is your story and what do you want it to say about your life? I'm Ann C.K. Nickel, a living, walking miracle who is on a mission to transform one million lives, one story at a time. Help me reach my big audacious goal by joining me each week as we discuss all things story. Welcome to the Story Shepherd Podcast. Hello, everyone. It's a new, beautiful day. This is Ann C.K. Nickel, the Story Shepherd, living life on the upside and sending blessings to you all for a wonderful new week full of possibilities. Today, I am celebrating my 20th episode. Yay! So I want to do something fun that still relates to creating your epic life story movie. So the topic for today is dreams. Not your waking dreams, the dreams you have while sleeping. Now we know that the dreams we have for our life are important, but did you know that the dreams you have while sleeping are also important to your well-being? Now I find dreams fascinating and I even get story ideas from them. But there is more to them than that. They also serve several important functions. One, dreams help us process and consolidate information and emotions from our waking lives. They integrate new experiences with existing memories and knowledge, which aids learning and adaptation. Two, Dreams can present novel solutions to problems or creative ideas that we may not consider while we're awake. They tap into our subconscious mind where unconventional connections can be made. Three, dreams provide a safe space to work through intense emotions, fears, and anxieties. They allow us to experience and process these feelings without the constraints of waking reality. Four, dreams play a role in the consolidation of our memories, helping to transfer information from short-term memory to long-term memory storage. This process is crucial for learning and retaining new info. Five, Research suggests that dreaming is linked to brain development, particularly in children and adolescents. It may contribute to cognitive development of neural networks. So we can now see how important our sleeping dreams are, so we should give them some attention and focus. But if you're like me, those dreams can be confusing and sometimes a little crazy. So how can we interpret those dreams? And better yet, how can we guide our dreams to be even more helpful in our lives? Interpreting dreams can be a subjective process, but there are some approaches you can take to find potential meanings or insights in those dreams. One, keep a dream journal. Keep it next to your bed to record your dreams as soon as you wake up. Include as much detail as you can remember, including your emotions, people, places, and actions. Two, identify symbols and themes. Look for recurring symbols, themes, or emotions in your dreams. Now, these can be personal symbols, like a specific person or place, or universal symbols, like water, flying, or falling, that may have common interpretations. Three, consider context and feelings. Pay attention to the context of the dream and your feelings within it. Dreams often reflect your current concerns, fears, desires, or unresolved issues. Reflect on how the dream made you feel and why certain elements stood out to you. Four, Explore personal associations. Reflect on what each symbol or element in the dream means to you personally. For example, 
A dream about a house might symbolize security or your sense of self. Think about any recent events or thoughts that could relate to the dream content. And five, integrate insights into your waking life. Once you have interpreted a dream, consider how the insights or the messages from that dream might apply to your waking life. Are there actions you can take, emotions you need to address, or decisions you need to make based on those dream insights? And now that we have an idea of how to interpret our dreams, is there a way to guide them? In middle school, one of my teachers was fascinated with dreams. He asked us to help him with an experiment. So each day, he would give us something to think about before bed to see how it would affect our dreams. For example, one day he asked us to all think about a fire truck, to focus on that one thing before we fell asleep. And the next day, we would share our dreams to see if they were similar in any way by thinking of the same thing. Now, our dreams weren't the same, of course, since we're all different people with different lives, but it was interesting how some of our dreams were similar. And it showed me at a young age that I do have some control over my dreams and even my nightmares. And while we can't control dreams as precisely as we might control our waking thoughts or actions, there are some techniques and practices that people use to influence their dream experiences. One, set intentions. Before going to sleep, consciously set an intention or suggestion for the kind of dream you would like to have. Now this could involve visualizing a specific scenario or theme. Two, dream incubation. Focus your thoughts on a particular issue, question, or problem you want to resolve before sleep. This can prompt your mind to work on it during your dreams, potentially offering insights or solutions. Three, your sleep environment. Create a comfortable and calming sleep environment free of distractions. A relaxed setting can encourage more vivid and memorable dreams. Four, your sleep routine. Maintain a regular sleep schedule. Going to bed and waking up at consistent times can help regulate your sleep cycles, potentially enhancing dream recall and quality. Five, healthy lifestyle. Eating a balanced diet, exercising regularly, and managing your stress can contribute to overall better sleep quality, which in turn may enhance your dream experiences. Six, avoid certain substances. Now, some substances like alcohol, nicotine, and certain medications can affect the quality and nature of your dreams. Avoiding them before bedtime may lead to clearer dream experiences. And seven, dream journaling. Keeping a dream journal by your bedside and writing down dreams immediately upon waking can help improve your dream recall over time. This practice can also uncover recurring themes or symbols in your dreams. Now, while these techniques may enhance your dream experiences, dreams remain largely unpredictable and influenced by our subconscious. It's essential to approach dream control with an open mind and a willingness to explore the messages and the insights your dreams offer rather than trying to exert strict control over them. Now, have you tried guiding and interpreting your dreams before? If not, will you try it now? Our dreams, both waking and sleeping, are an important part of our life story. So we should do what it takes to make them great and make them work for us. So please use these tips and ideas to help you guide and interpret your dreams. And if you do try guiding your dreams, reach out and let me know how it works for you. Dream often 
and dream big. Thank you for joining me today on the Story Shepherd podcast. Keep creating your epic life story movie and please join me next time as we continue transforming lives one story at a time.